Recently, I put together a couple of videos from a, a Q&A that I did with uh, Danny from Optimize My B&B, and it went down really well. You loved it, uh, the comments and the messages that I got back. So I dug into my little archive, and I managed to find another fantastic Q&A with Chris Taylor, who is an Instagram expert. These videos are going to be packed with information, so please do take note. They're short, sharp, to the point, but they will give you all the tools and the tactics that you need to make Instagram work for you and your hospitality business. So please do stick around. Before we get started, uh, Uplisting are sponsoring this episode. Uplisting, fantastic PMS. They're guaranteed that you will never get a, di a double booking. Um, they are all about the direct bookings. They've, they've recorded some really big numbers. Uh, they've got some fantastic people that I know quite well that rave about it. Shamil May uh, down in Birmingham. We've got uh, Ryan Luke, who's now using it up in, up in Newcastle, Luke Holmes. So again, um, please, please, please do go check them out. Boostly.co.uk forward slash up listing u-p-l-i-s-t-i-n-g and without further ado let's get on with today's lesson but one question that did stand out as i was scrolling through was about the algorithm the dreaded yeah. algorithm now um as we all know facebook and when you hit that publish button and if you're posting from your business page facebook massively reaches the amount of people that will see it for free because they want you to pay money. Now, how does Instagram differ to Facebook when it talk when we're talking about the algorithm here? Having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely. If you want my respect, you are better put direct. Mm, here are the words in the podcast, that's what comes next. Cool, so I mean, I'll talk to you about numbers and then we'll go into like how we can actually take advantage of it. So Facebook pages, Facebook profiles work in very, very similar ways. So on average, your content will reach around about two to 3% of your online audience at that particular time. Now, what happens is with the Facebook algorithm, it's the same with the Instagram algorithm, is the more likes, the more comments, the more shares that you get, the more it then decides whether it's worth opening up to more and more people that are currently liking your page or are following your profile. Now, if nobody does engage with it, and again, this happens a lot, it will just cut it off dead and it won't show it to anybody. So when you hear that posting time is important, that is 100% correct because you want to be posting when the majority of your audience or the most common times when your audience is online at the most time. Now, Instagram, the percentage is around 8 or 9%. So again, it varies depending on how kind Zucks is being. Um, however, I will tell you, it is reducing. Like with the way that it's with the way that it's working right now, um, since Facebook acquired Instagram, uh, they are moving towards more to the pay-to-play model. So I reckon probably by this time next year, organic reach would be around about four or five percent. So it will reduce because they want to bring paid advertising to the forefront. Now again, Instagram works in the same way. Every like, every comment, every save, and every share that you get you will have a bigger um, opportunity um, to expand your impressions and reach. So if you are not currently a business profile on Instagram, I would highly suggest that you change to it. Now to change, it's completely free. You go onto your Instagram profile, click settings, and this is being recorded. So I'm assuming you could watch this back at some point as well. Uh, but go into your settings, go into your account settings, and if you scroll to the bottom, it says switch to professional account. Once you switch to that, you get access to what's called Instagram insights. And that information there is really, really powerful because what you want to be looking at is your overall reach and overall impressions that you're getting. Now, when you're actually looking to conquer the algorithm, as people will say online, what you want to be doing is posting at the time when Instagram insights tells you is the best time to post. So follow that data. It most likely will say between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. Normally, tends to be the way that it works. Tends to be when people tend to be ignoring their partners and scrolling through their phones these days. Uh, anyway, from especially in my household, as bad as it sounds. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, with the way that the way that it works is you want to be getting when your post goes live, it goes to 8% or 9% of your online audience at that particular time now the more likes the more comments the more saves and the more shares that you get the more reach will you will then get also 
Oh, having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the tea is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely.